program for us as soon as you join us do the best that you can and share the program for us please and thank you very much for tuning in this is legal matters today we are just gonna bring you the updates in terms of immigration nationality and employment law so stay tuned. Thank you very much for tuning in um as you can see today we are broadcasting from the studios of fire life radio justice and law solicitors um and um today is saturday the 20th of february of the year of our lord and um, we thank god for making it possible today for us to meet again today um wow 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 what can i say about such is life and you know may god be the glory in all um situations let's give thanks and praises um to the lord almighty um you know for giving us the gift of life 
I always say this. Um, money cannot buy life. Buildings cannot buy life. Properties cannot buy life. You know, nothing can buy life. Nothing can replace life. The fact that you've got life, that alone for me is a blessing. And we should always, you know, um, love and live and enjoy every minute that we have on this earth. Because tomorrow does not belong to you or I. And we must always be grateful for the gift of life. You know, many at times people say that, you know, um, I am pursuing things. I'm pursuing dreams. Without life, how can you pursue, pursue the dream that you want to pursue? So for me, it's very, very important that we have life. Once you have life, you have everything. Because life is the beginning of everything. You know, so the fact that you are alive today, for me, that alone, you know, is something that you should cherish. Something that you should be very, very grateful to. You know, because at the end of the day, if God take away your breath, that's it. You're gone. You know, nothing else matters. So the fact that you have life, you must, you ought to be very, very grateful um, to your creator. Um, today, we are going to be talking about immigration and nationality matters. We will also be looking at employment um, update in relation to what they call the gig economy and we are all aware or we some of you may not be aware um there has been a big case ongoing um in relation to um the um the gig economy and whether um uber drivers are workers or whether they are self-employed um the court have spoken only yesterday um the court has concluded that Uber drivers are workers, but not self-employed. Someone may be watching me and the person may be wondering, what is the difference? You know, um, whether they are self-employed or whether they are classified as workers, does it make any difference? Um, today, we will try and look at that, you know, whether in fact there is a difference between a worker um, under the working time regulative and also um, um, a self-employed person, the legal consequences. So if you are a Uber driver or you, you perform similar services um, to say um, to someone, then you need to be able to understand the difference between a worker and a self-employed. The reason being that your entitlement, what you are entitled to, um, um, may differ. And it will be sad that if you are a worker, just like the gig economy situation, and someone is taking advantage of you. So for me, it is important that we pay attention to what we are going to be talking about today um, so that, you know, um, we can exercise our rights. So um, it's very, very important. Um, strange enough, um, it, it, today is going to be an interesting program, but because of time factor and because of um, um, a situation that I have had since yesterday, um, I will do the best that I can and, um, you know, we stick to two our program. So I will speed up as much as I can um, so that I can finish on time. As you can see, I'm wearing black. So that means there's a problem, you know, but in all things, we give thanks and praises to the Lord Almighty. The reason being that, you know, expectation has been created that every Saturday I have to be here. And therefore, it is important for me to... Um, to oblige and come here and do it despite everything that's going on behind um, the, the closed doors. But, you know, we will not disappoint. Um, we are soldiers, you know, Ashton soldiers. You know, we will come and do what we've got to do and move on. That is me. That is what I do. You know, if I set out to do something, um, I try the best that I can and, you know, and just do it, you know, under, you know, every circumstances, if it at all possible. So that is why I'm here today. And also, sorry, I was a bit late because, um, like I said, so much is going on behind closed doors, but such is life. Um, you live to fight another day. Um, and we thank you very much for tuning in and for your loyalty and for your support. You know, keep referring people to us. We are forever and we are ever grateful. 
you know we get a lot of phone calls despite the pandemic some firms are struggling to survive but justice and law solicitors through your help you know all the time we are getting different referrals from different nationalities and it baffles me it surprises me you know this shows that you know if you're doing anything and you are committed to what you are doing and you keep fighting for people their rights and also helping them to achieve their objective regardless of how tough the economic climate may be how tough the economic circumstances may be once people have trust in you they will still refer people to you despite the fact that many firms are struggling justice and law through the spirit of the most high we have it in abundance and we will keep fighting for you we will not disappoint you and we will make sure that all your referrals are justified that is what we do and that is what we will continue on today so we thank you all for your referrals and also for um advertising justice and law to your family members and to your friends now let's start with immigration um this week i'm pretty sure that a lot of us have heard about the court of appeal ruling it's been nearly two to three years you know um since um the court um held that um the fee that the home office charges for nationality applications i.e nationality applications is unfair and is illegal unfair and is illegal um and therefore there was a an expectation and in fact and in fact um the government made an announcement that they are going to implement the home office policy so that children who have been in the uk for or who were born in the uk and they have lived in the uk for 10 years if they are applying for nationality they must not be charged for the fees currently the fee is thousand and twelve pounds plus 19 pounds 20 you know so the fee roughly speaking is about just over thousand pounds and therefore the court held that this is against people's individual rights because if someone is entitled to be registered as a british citizen why should that person pay for that entitlement so the court made the decision that the home office must stop charging people um for they must not charge um for um for the thousand um and twelve pounds fee that they will normally charge for nationality applications a lot of people were jubilating among you know i am i was part of it we were all hoping that that would be the case and in fact there was an indication from the home office that they would implement um this decision so everyone was happy about it then all of a sudden home office went quiet they went silent about this which was a bit odd but all the same a lot of my clients were waiting um, for this to kick in so that they can do what they can put in their children application we've been waiting for a year nothing was happening and therefore I had to go back and tell my clients look um, it's meant to happen it's not happening and therefore you have to make a choice are you now going to do the application for your child or perhaps you know you should wait law changes things changes the longer you wait more problems that can come up and therefore i did advise my client look the way things are going i do not think that is going to change and therefore i had to start advising my client to just do the application home office appeal against the court's decision and the case have gone before court of appeal and hence all this delay court of appeal what then happened 
the Court of Appeal this week have upheld the decision. And the court, in their, um, basically, the court says as follows. Becoming a British citizen is a significant life event. Apart from allowing you to apply for a British citizenship passport, British citizenship gives you the opportunity to participate more fully in the life of your local community. So the court was of the view that the fee that the Home Office charges is unlawful and it is illegal and that the Home Office must not charge um, for this type of applications. This is the second time that the Home Office have lost this particular case. And it makes one wonder as to whether the Home Office will appeal um, to the Supreme Court. I do not know what is going to happen, but the belief is that should they fail to apply to the Supreme Court, then of course they have to cancel this charging of the fees. Not only that, those people perhaps who applied during the relevant period being the time that the court probably held that, you know, it was not right for them to charge for such fees. There's every possibility there should be a mechanism in place for those people to be able to ask for their money back. But at the moment, that is not a government policy. But one is hoping that that is going to be the case. So anyone who has made payment um, for naturalization, i.e. children who are entitled to be registered as British citizens, all that I say to you is make sure that you keep up to date. Home Office come with any policy, then of course, Justice and Law Solicitors, we will bring it to you um, so that you can also do what you can also be aware of what is happening and if you need to request for a refund then by all means you can get in touch with your lawyers in due course so that they can then do what make an application to the home office and request for your refund for you please do not stop calling your lawyers straight away because it hasn't happened yet i must emphasize here because every time you say something Many at times, people listen, but they don't hear what you are saying. Or maybe they hear what you are saying, but they don't listen to what you are saying. As soon as they hear anything straight away, they start jumping. They just want to go out there and, you know, um, do something about it. They start hustling their lawyers. That way, am I going to get my refund? At the moment, please, we must listen and hear carefully. The case has gone to court. The court has made a decision that the charging of the fees for children in this country in relation to nationality or registration is illegal. And therefore, what I am saying, don't quote me anywhere that lawyer Dracon said you can call for your money back. That is not the case at the moment. But one is hoping that that will be the case in the near future. So what is going to happen is that the Home Office, by hook or crook, they're going to have to give some money back to those who have submitted the applications in the past. But there may be a time frame where you can make that claim. And when that becomes available, when that information becomes available, like I said, I will bring that information to you. So please do not call me on Monday and say, lawyer, I want you to go and request for my money back because there is nothing like that at the moment and there's nothing that i'll be able to do about it but all that i'm saying is that home office have lost the case and that there is likely that they will implement it if they do not decide to appeal um to the appeal court um for them to make another decision that's all that i'm saying so we all have to wait until such time that the home office you know accept total defeat and come up with a policy where people will be able to go back to the home office and ask for their money 
back. Until such time, there isn't much that I can do for you. But all that I'm saying is, be patient with us. And when the time comes, we will by all means keep you in the hoop or keep you in the loop. So by all means, we will bring you that news. That is fantastic news this week in relation to um, the, ten, the, um, the 1,012 pounds that the Home Office have been charging um, for the nationality applications. And this is a case of R into brackets, project for the registration of children as British citizenship and another. This is the Secretary of State for the Home Department 2021. That is the full citation. And basically, they brought this challenge um, or in relation to the, um, the, um, the, the duty under Section 55 of the Border Citizenship and Immigration Act of 2009, which specifically states that, you know, when you are making any decision, including public authorities, you know, you ought to look at what is in the best interest of the child. You have to make sure that the child's interest is paramount at all costs and that there are provisions that secures the interest of the child. And therefore, in this case, the court said that it was not in the interest of the child to be forced or to be made to pay money in order to get something that they are entitled to anyway. And on that basis, the Court of Appeal held that charging that money is unlawful and it is illegal. So this is what everyone have to bear in mind. So what I'm saying to you is that please hold on for the time being. Don't call me and ask for your money back because at the moment I cannot. There is no mechanism in place that will allow me to go and ask for your money back. It cannot happen. So I beg don't call me on Monday, don't call me today, don't call me tomorrow and start chasing for your money because there is nothing that I can do at this stage. So that's all that I can say in that respect. Because many a times, as soon as you say something like that, people start rushing you. And they hear half of the story, they don't listen to the full story. So that is the reason why I am emphasizing um, on this point. So thank you very much for that. Okay. Um, if you have joined us, um, I will encourage you um, to share the program for us. And as soon as you tune in, just press the notification button. So as soon as we come online, then you will get a notification and you can then um, listen to um, the program as well. Unfortunately, some people do not have um, Facebook. Um, they are asking whether I can put it on YouTube. Because of the, um, the COVID, you know, um, I am restricted to what I can do. But after the program is done, by all means, I'll do the best that I can and put it on YouTube for you. I don't have too much knowledge about the technology and how I can get it to work at the same time. I can only do it after we have completed, we have finished the program. If I was doing it from the studios of Fire Life Radio, no doubt you would have been able to see it on YouTube straight away. But because of the COVID-19 situation, I am broadcasting from another place. So bear with us whilst, you know, um, hopefully we'll be able to defeat this COVID-19 situation together. So if you've just joined us, just, you know, click on the notif notification button. Also join Justice and Law Solicitors um, um, page and you will get all the legal updates as we go along. As soon as there's any update, I will come and paste it there um, so that we can all benefit from latest, you know, technology. So um, we thank you very much for that. An interesting area, once again, in terms of immigration and nationality law is um, um, a decision that has been made by the upper tribunal. Um, people should not be too surprised because, as for me, I am not too surprised. Um, the reason being that I've done cases for people um, who have been deported from the UK and one reason or another, they've managed to come back to the UK. And their circumstances have changed so much that the, the Home Office have to grant them some visa. So um, 
this for me it doesn't come as a surprise because I've, I've been involved in such cases where we've been successful um in relation to making an application um, um to people or uh, for people who have been deported and one reason or the other um they've managed um to come back um to the country um so what is this about um this is a case um called uh, the case of Bikanu. Bikanu. Um, and basically, this is a case where the individual um, was deported um, from the United Kingdom. Um, he was deported in 2012. This is Mr. Bikanu. He was deported in 2012 after he received a 12 month prison sentence. He received a 12 month prison sentence and he was um, um, deported subsequently. Um, for whatever reason, sometime in 2014, he was deported in 2012. In 2014, one way or the other, he was able to find his way back into the United Kingdom. Hold and behold, June 2018, he was arrested again and unsuccessfully applied to have the deportation order, which was enforced previously, revoked on the basis of his Article 8 family life and private life with his British wife and two British children. Now, let's look at the law. Let's watch the law. Right? Let's look at the law. Let's watch the law. What the rule says is this. If you are deported from the United Kingdom, you cannot legally come to the United Kingdom without first of all getting the deportation order revoked. So in short, if the deportation order has not been revoked, you cannot come to the United Kingdom that is the law and this is a situation where mr Bikan was under deportation he's been deported and therefore in order for him to be able to come to the uk legally lawfully he must first apply for the deportation order to be revoked interesting and this is a situation that this guy was able to wiggle his way one way or the other okay one way or the other um to come to the united kingdom fair enough so what then happens he come in he got arrested again one would think that automatically this guy will be put in prison for entering the uk illegally and two for breaching the deportation order this is something that i believe you know what most commentators believe or to happen now so this guy decided to fight the case through the courts and surprisingly let's look at what the court said the court said that where a foreign criminal has been deported and enters the United Kingdom in breach of a deportation order enforcement in breach of the deportation order, enforcement of the deportation order is in the public interest and will be implemented unless there are very exceptional circumstances. You see, all of a sudden, there has been a caveat. Whilst everyone was expecting this guy to be deported straight away, if you are able to prove that there are exceptional circumstances regardless of the fact that there is a deportation order in force there is a deportation order in place the court said that it matters not it matters not as long as you can prove that there are exceptional circumstances that will warrant the court 
to treat your case exceptionally outside the rules on the basis of your human rights under Article 8. So, this case is a precedent. It's, un you know, it's, it's unprecedented, if you like, because it set out a precedent for those who are facing deportation from the first place. Because wow, the law says that there is a mandatory deportation if you are a criminal or you've been sentenced to imprisonment for more than 12 months. And therefore, if you are not a British citizen, you are classified or you are deemed to be a foreign criminal. And the consequences of being a foreign criminal is that you will face automatic deportation. But the case of Bikinu is telling us that notwithstanding the fact that you may have a deportation order against your name or you may be deported but one way or the other you have been like a snail or maybe a worm and you have uh, whistled your way in back in into the uk as long as there are exceptional circumstances then of course you have a case that you can find so if you are watching me today you have brother, you have a sister, you have family members, you have friends who are in this situation, facing deportation, and especially they have Article 8 right, the right to private and family life, then of course this is a fantastic case in which you could uh, perhaps rely on to fight against deportation or redeportation. And the case is called the Bikan, you know, Bikan 2021. And this is a fresh case that, you know, if you have a lawyer and the lawyer is not aware of this case, then by all means, you must, you know, point it out to them that, yes, my friend is facing deportation. However, I've heard a case of the case of Bikanu, um, B-I-K-A-N-U, that may be helpful to our case. Regardless whether you are coming to justice and law or you, are, you have your own lawyers, or perhaps you have decided to go somewhere else. This is a gift for you. Go with it and use it to fight your case. Like I said, God has been good to us. You have been good to us. You keep referring clients to us. And we are busy 24-7, even in the light of this pandemic. So for me, I see that as a blessing. So we thank you very much uh, for all your referrals. And also for your continual support and also for your custom. So that is Bikanu for you, um, a case of um, deportation. Now let's look at something interesting here. Travel bans, red lists, and quarantines. How did they affect UK visa applications? It's very, very important that what we are going to talk about, we all pay attention to it. And I believe by the time we finish, we will learn a lot from this. As you can see, I'm very, very thirsty. I need to drink water. And then let's take commercial advert from our sponsors. Um, these are companies that they are, you know, supporting everything that we do. And we are forever grateful to them. So if you have just joined us, thank you for joining us. Let's take this break. Whilst we are taking this commercial break, let's use this opportunity also to share the program. As you can see today, I'm doing it from Justice and Law Solicitors Facebook page. And as a result, a lot of people may not be able to um, maybe um, get the link. So if you are watching, share it for us. And as soon as we share it and you see it and you see the notification button, press it. So next time, as soon as we go live, you'll be able to get it straight away. Um, we thank you very much. Thank you. So let's take this commercial break. And when we come back, by all means, um, we will continue the program. Um, what is coming up is very, very interesting. Um, I will say to you that... Um, Let's do the best that we can. Um, and if you like, um, um, I share the program. The more we share, the more we educate. Um, so please do the best that you can. Let's already share the program um, so that people may benefit from today's topic. What is coming is very, very interesting um, because of the fact that um, um, the, um, the Court of Appeal has held that you know, Home Office charging of the fees is illegal. It's not... Um, um, it's not something that can be sustained. Um, I will take this um, opportunity and also talk about um, registration as a British citizen for children. Um, so people who are interested, if you have a friend, someone that may be interested, 
by all means pass it to them because many a times we our time gets so wasted because you come in here you talk about something the person will tell you that they don't have the time to go and listen to it whilst you are in your office and you are working someone is paying you to work that is the time that they'll be calling you and expecting to get free legal advice it's something that is really 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 wasting a lot of our time and we cannot continue doing that so it's for that reason that sometimes when people call the office they don't get hold of me because when our receptionists or our secretaries start asking questions and it looks like it's not going to get anywhere then of course they are not going to pass the phone to me for me to waste vital time that i can use to help people who actually need it so work with us so that we can also work with you and when we do the program and you know you listen to it it will help you because you get a better understanding you know of what is happening but some people will decide that look to sit here and listen to the program for one hour is a waste of their time but yet they want to come and waste your time and it's not fair to us so let's do the best that we can because once we are here we are happy to deal with any questions that we will have but once we go to our office that is it that is the end of legal questions and answers we cannot stretch it and continue so please do understand so that we can all work together and you know make everything all right for everybody so um thank you for listening um let's take this commercial break like i said and when we come back um we will then um continue um the program so stay tuned when we come it's going to be interesting um, what is coming up so bear with us Employment issues, letting and leasing arrangements. 
Talk to the experts today. Don't attempt any legal issue without them. Take advantage of their free consultation on some cases and be informed. You can call Justice and Law Solicitors on 02077385841 or email legal at justiceandlawsolicitors.com. We are located near Carissa Harvard, the Unit 35B Eurolink Business Center, 49 Elfra Road, Brixton, SW21BZ. You can travel by the Victoria Line to Brixton and by bus 2337415432689 and 690. The bus stop is St. Matthew's Church. Justice and law solicitors don't handle a legal issue without contacting them. Oh yes, justice and law solicitors bring you true justice that gives you peace of mind. They are specialists in all cases of immigration and nationality law, including customary marriage and ECC applications, landlord and tenant issue or housing issues, divorce and financial arrangements, drafting of legal documents such as statutory declarations for lost passports, personal injury, will writing, employment issues, letting and leasing arrangements. Talk to the experts today. Don't attempt any legal issue without them. Take advantage of their free consultation on some cases and be informed. You can call Justice and Law Solicitors on 02077385841 or email legal at justiceandlawsolicitors.com. We are located near Carissa Harvard, the Unit 35B Eurolink Business Center, 49 Elfra Road, Brixton, SW21BZ. You can travel by the Victoria Line to Brixton and by bus 2 337 415 and 690. The bus stop is St. Matthew's Church. Justice and Law Solicitors don't handle a legal issue without contacting them. Oh yes, justice and law solicitors bring you true justice that gives you peace of mind. They are specialists in all cases of immigration. Well, 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 let's look at um what is happening within the United Kingdom um, in relation to the travel bans, red list countries, quarantines, and how they affect UK visa applicants. Um, as we all know, last week we talked briefly about countries that are listed as red listed countries and fortunately ghana is not among or is not part of those countries so if you are coming from ghana you don't have that problem or you don't have that issue which is a good news for most of us um, who are traveling so in that respect we are lucky I did mention um, the names of those countries um, last week. And if you want to have more information, by all means, um, just Google it and just say um, um, list of um, red countries, um, UK. Um, and it will come up with about 39 countries. Ghana, Nigeria is not part of those countries. Um, I cannot, um, I don't have time to be able to, if you like, um, um, say all of those countries again because of the time factor but i think it's important that we understand the rules um, which are in place i did posted it on my facebook wall about individuals um, who have been fined um, ten thousand um, pounds basically for lying about where they have been um, which in this case i think is very very sad that people have to go through this um, basically if you go through a red listed country or you visit a red listed country on your way back to the uk you must disclose this and you must go in hotel quarantine um, which is a specific hotels which has been designed um, to basically to allow people to stay there for 10 days and if they are okay then of course um, they will be allowed to come um, to the country so that is how it is so basically what it says is this um after you've arrived in the uk you go into quarantine in one of these hotels you pay a fee of 1750 pounds at your own cost and if you are free from covid 19 you will then be allowed to go home um if you are happy you can pay money to do another test at your own cost and if the test proved to be negative then after five days you should be able to go home they will allow you to go home so um if you are traveling you need to work out you need to find out whether you are traveling um from a red listed country or whether you are traveling through a red listed country um this is what people have to be aware of however if you are traveling from ireland 
which is um, the, the island of Ireland, you are exempted from this quarantine on arrival unless, you know, um, 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 yes, basically you are, you, are, um, you are exempted. However, if you are traveling from a real estate country and you go through Ireland and you come over to the UK, you are not exempted because you have still come from a red listed um, country. So this is something that I think we all have to adhere to and be sure about it. Because if you breach the rules, um, you know, then of course um, you are going to face sanctions. Um, it was thousand pounds and it can lead to up to 10,000 um, pounds, depending on the circumstances um, of each case. Now, if you are traveling from countries that are not even on the red listed um on the on the red list then of course you also have to be aware that you will be subjected um to the following if you are um traveling um to england you need to provide a negative coronavirus test results which had been taken within three days before traveling so you need to be aware of this you must have coronavirus certificate which has been issued within 72 hours um, from the date that you arrive in the United Kingdom. So, for example, today's date is the 20th. If you are traveling from, say, United Arab Emirates um, and you are coming to the UK or you are from Ghana, but you are traveling through United Arab Emirates, you'll be expected um, since you've gone through a red listed country to go into quarantine for 10 days in a quarantine hotel. However, if you are traveling from Ghana direct to the United Kingdom, then of course you need to be able to provide a um, um, COVID free um, certificate, negative certificate, which has been taken within 72 hours. Today's date is the 20th and we know that 24 hours makes one day. So 24 plus 24, 48. Um, and then you add it up. So you are looking at, um, you know, about 72 hours, which is about three days. So in that case, you need to go about three days. So you need to have had the certificate by 17th and you are arriving in the UK on the 20th and you have the certificate to prove that you don't have COVID. In that case, then you are okay. But if you are holding a certificate and the certificate is more than 72 hours, is no longer valid it has expired and in that case you may have some difficulties so it's very very important that you check all this before you travel also it's advisable that before you travel book and pay for travel test package that includes a corona test on day two and day eight you know so it's very very important that you book for coronavirus book and pay for travel test package um, for coronavirus on day two and day eight because as soon as you come back after the seventh day I, it's expected that you can also do that and check so it's very very important and in, when you are coming to the uk you also need to complete the passenger locator form so that in the event that there is an issue then of course you can be contacted and the right thing can be done so that you do not unwillingly spread this it's very very important and also quarantine for 10 days at home or friends or in a hotel. So even once you have come up from um, a country that is not listed as a red list country, please, we should adhere by these rules. Stay home, quarantine yourself for 10 days because you do not know what you may be carrying. And we all have to do our bit. Do not put money first, but put the health and safety of brothers and sisters neighbors first before anything else because if you breach the rules you could be fined ten thousand pounds up to ten thousand pounds so you need to bear that in mind also what if i have a visa for the uk some people um um basically just you know they they, they may want to you know probably apply to come to the uk for a visit um and I have always had this belief that this is not the time even to bother coming to the UK or to apply for a visitor's visa to come to the UK. It makes no sense. You know, entry clearance officers will be more suspicious about your motives 
because the country is shut down. Unless, of course, everyone's circumstances is different. So if the country is shut down and you are telling me that you want to come just for a tourism, I beg, they may not believe you. I will not believe you. You know, so this is something that I think we all have to be um, aware of and we need to watch out for because it does not make sense that, you know, this country is going through very, very tough time and you say that, but I want to come and visit. That is a priority. It doesn't bite. No one will believe you, you know, and therefore I think the timing, we need to be careful about the timing in the sense that, you know, in the midst of this pandemic and you want to come to pandemic situation, it makes no sense, you know. So if you intend to apply for a visitor's visa, um, I will urge you to hold on until the situation dies down because the chances of application being refused is very, very high unless, you know, the uh, circumstances demands it. So, for example, your daughter has given birth and, you know, you are the grandmother. And it has become important for you to come down and basically help out, assist in some ways. Then I think you have, you know, reasonable justification as to why you may want to apply for um, a visitor's visa. So by all means, um, it's something that we ought to um, be aware of and it's something that we can all do. So, um, okay, um, we've got... Um, someone here, uh, I'm banning the person for life. Untimi ma habie na ma se diliti na ka hon ha ha. Enti no sana eti e si se go biba na se. Owe ne hon so be ye a zambi e wo platform wo e soa. O de ma mo nka sa. Se se me hon trek se no. E ye ya ma bani no. Na me diliti no. E no anu no. Untimi fa ni se hon ni ma habie. Sana eti e. Enti wo de mo nka ma komanto wo ye. So um, by all means, um, that is how it is. So what I will say is as follows. If you are intending to apply for a visitor's visa, um, do not bother yourself. Um, do not worry. Um, all that I will say is that, you know, be patient and possibly wait until the time is right. And then you can then do what you can then apply to, um, to come in um, to visit. But at the moment, it is not a good time. Um, if you do it now, um, your application um, will be refused. So please, all that I say is that let's all be patient and, and wait until the right time before we put in such applications. Now, deadline for collecting BRP and registering with the police. Home office, as we all know, um, what they say is that once you come to the country, um, within 10 days of arrival, you must make arrangement um, um, to collect your biometric residency permit card and the post office will keep it for up to 90 days. Um, so if you've come in and you have not collected your um, B, um, your BRP cards, then of course um, it's important that you do what um, you do contact the post office as soon as you can. One thing that I will say in relation to this COVID situation um, is that, you know, it's something that people may not be aware, but I think it's important that I talk about this today. It's very important that I talk about this today. COVID-19. If you are working for any organization, we ought to be aware that from the very first day that you or any family member you suspect that they have got COVID-19. Please, all your activities must come to an end straight away. Once there is a reasonable suspicion, if you believe that your child, if you believe that your partner, if you believe that a member of your household has got a symptom, of COVID-19, you must call your workplace straight away. People within your surroundings, you must tell them straight away that that 
COVID-19 is dangerous. That COVID-19 is not a situation that we should joke with. And you yourself must isolate. You and your household must isolate without a question. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because if you know whether willingly or unwillingly there is a suspicion you believe that someone in your household or within your cycle has got COVID-19 or you have a symptom of COVID-19 and you go to work and it comes to the attention of your employer knowing that you knew that someone within your um, 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 your bubble has got coronavirus or is suffering from coronavirus and there's a possibility that you may have it and you still go to work straight away if it comes to the employer's attention no doubt about that they are going to dismiss you for gross misconduct because you, your behavior will be deemed to be putting others at risk which is a serious health issue many a times sometimes we take things for granted and sometimes out of ignorance we simply don't know and we think oh it's not such a big deal oh my friend has told me that he's got it i was around him for two days ago but i haven't got it there is no symptoms please i beg you all that i say to you is don't risk it just call your workplace and isolate you may lose a little bit of money but you will be saving lives how does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul it makes no sense so all that i say to you is this anytime that there is a chance that perhaps you may or someone around you may have the condition then of course you need to do what you need to isolate as fast as you can you need to tell your employers and anyone who has been around you so that they don't also spread the virus because that is the only way that we can all do what we can fight this virus and conquer this virus so please do the best that you can and you know let's share this so that people will also benefit from um the program now i was talking about british nationality and registration of children and it, it is so vital that we understand these principles because of time fact i'm gonna speed up i'm not gonna go too much into details and also if i give too much information out here some people will not come to me for me to charge them so i'm gonna give as much as i can i will keep the rest so that you can come to me so that i can also make a little bit of money bantama bafo nekai also be a seeker i should be bottom the seeker person the yard the bonio who pisca a yard the pack it's the only one in pisca name mom if you love money and then the bible say a your bonnet the lack of money is not bad at all because at the end of the day <laughs> why are we all here <laughs> we came here to live for green pastures and you know the other could be pesca in your bonnet i will keep fighting for money i will keep looking for money because at the end of the day sika eya adi nyina and you know yen pesca nyen pesca pa e wo e kwam papa so and ti sana eti e and ti e na yen pesca because sika de enya de bonnet na emum wo de odon e ko she sika ma e no na eya ade bonnet and ti yen try now you know the difference between the love of money and the like of money you know um so many people have different ways that makes them happy when i see money it makes me happy i like money i don't love money so when i see money it makes me happy yes some people when they see cars that they buy it makes them happy you know some people when they see houses that they have built it makes them happy some people when they see alcohol it makes them happy so everyone has got their own vice but for me 
when I see money in my accounts, it puts a smile on my face. It makes me see the hard work that I do and what I get in return. So people have their own sort of um, sidekick or they, they have their own kick, something that makes them thick. So um, that's how it is. I like money. I don't love money because the Bible says that for the love of money, my people, you know, basically it's wrong to love money or the love of money, you know, but the like of money is not bad at all. So that's how it is. So it's all money, money meaning. Okay. So now let's look at um, naturalization for children. Once again, it's about money. This week, um, they've taken on the government. The government has lost. Why is the government fighting? The government doesn't want to lose money. Because every application that you submit for every child, the government is doing what? Charging a thousand and twelve pounds for children to be naturalized as British citizens. Someone is also paying money, he's not happy of paying that money. So he decided to take the British government to court. So it's all about money. And through that, he set a record. The court of appeal has you know confirmed that the charging of the money i.e um is not um in accordance with the law is illegal and therefore that is the situation so i say to you money money is so funny in a rich man's world so that's how it is you know it's all about money nobody likes to pay money but yes everyone wants to get money so that is part of humanity and that's part of nature so now how do you register a child as a British citizen? Basically, there are various ways in which a child can be registered as a British citizen. And we need to pay attention to this. It's very, very important. Because after the show, my phone will be switched off. I have to say, because sometimes people like complaining too much. They want it for free, but yet they will complain about it. And sometimes we find it very, very frustrating. If the person is calling you to come to you and get the advice and pay for your consultation fee, it does not hurt. But where the person is looking for freebie and the person is also complaining to damage your brand, it can be very, very annoying when people do that. So those people who are looking for free services, if you don't get us, don't complain. If someone pick up the phone and you want to pay for it, book appointment we will make the time for you but if you want it for free we will do it at our time not at your time because someone has paid us money to do their work and therefore that is a priority that is life you know so please bear with us if you're looking for something free and you call us you don't get us be patient bear with us you're not saying that we will not help we will but we will not do it at your terms we will do it after our terms that's what i got to say to this you know, so we beg you, when you call and you want to make an inquiry, anyone that pick up the phone at the office, be free and speak to them. Ask them, they may be able to help you. Because as I speak, my time is very, very tight. You know, so it's not every phone call that I can answer. And if they ask you a few questions and you get angry or you don't want to speak to them, they don't think that, you know, you are serious. Basically, that's how it is. I don't know how to put it. It may sound, you know, come across as a bit, you know, maybe rude, but that is a fact. You know, but the reality is that, you know, you call anyone's office, be open, be free. You know, if you're not comfortable, book appointment and pay for it and we will be happy to make the time for you. It helps us, it helps everyone in that respect. So, um, we thank you very much for that. So, now, there are so many ways that, you know, you can register your child as a British person. And um, before I go on, um, let me take this opportunity <laughs> um, to, you know, to appreciate the following people. Papa Yao AJ, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I know that you've been monitoring this, um, the program um, over the weeks and over the month. And we thank you very much for tuning in. Um, Madam um, Ophelia. Akato, also thank you for tuning in. My own uncle, yeah, Bibia Orekodo, Mr. Ato Armstrong, also thank you for tuning in. Um, my, my researcher, my right hand man, Mr. Kabina Ofori Ansu, also thank you for tuning in. Um, Mr. Kweku Edu, 
Also, thank you for tuning in. Mr. Bismarck Kwesi Adams, also thank you for tuning in. Mr. Kofi Owusu, thank you for joining us. Nat Beide, um, thank you for tuning in. Mr. Obri, 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 Yeboa, thank you for tuning in. A.K.A. Mr. Selina, Abruchire Nono, Oye Bema Krabe Dani Oba. Madam Equia McDonald, also thank you for tuning in. Mr. Freeman Yofi, also thank you for tuning in. Kate Owusua Donko, thank you for joining us. Madam Helena Panford, I know that I believe that you are enjoying the sun back in the motherland Ghana. Um, all the way from Ghana, you are still tuning in because you want to know what is going on. I know it's a tardy, Bibi Oreko Doboko, Sana Etie. Mr. Apia Tufo, also thank you for tuning in. Mr. Emmanuel Eshan, also thank you for tuning in. Mr. Alexander Ofosu, thank you for tuning in. Maria Sanda, Kolaia, 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 good morning to you. Um, Priscilla Scrape, also thank you for tuning in. Lucy Adoma Boat, also thank you for tuning in. Um, Holly Patricia Donko, also thank you for tuning in. Kenneth Ofori Borton, um, you join us. Mr. Ben Bracco, also thank you for tuning in. Madam Georgina Ama Chenebua Sa, also thank you for tuning in. Frank Ousu Ben Osei, Paulina Kofi, you have all joined us live. Cynthia Ofe Ado Buaku, also thank you for tuning in. I hope Postmoff, the family, everyone is doing great. Mr. Nana Agiman, also thank you for tuning in and good morning to you. Madam Vim Lady, Joyce Ajeba, also thank you for tuning in. All those people that haven't been able to mention your names, I know that it goes on and on and on and on. And we thank you all for tuning in. Mr. Agrafin, all the way from Germany, uh -huh. also so thank you for tuning in. Okay, Madam, Madam Pamford is in Cape Coast, that's right. Okay. Um, enjoy the program. I believe that Cape Coast, everything is going on cool. Okay. Now, let's look at how you can naturalize your child. Um, oh, okay. I do Amankwa Efria. Also, thank you for tuning in. Roko, pa, you Roko. And I'm going to say KGMTV. KGMTV. All the commandos, all the soldiers of God. We thank you very much for tuning in every Saturday. For your continuous prayers and for, for your continuous support. We are very, very grateful. The commandos of God, we salute you. Mr. Kojom Pieni, also Kojom Pieni, also thank you for joining us and good afternoon to you. I was going to say good morning. I did not realize that the time is flying. Okay. How do you register your child to become a British citizen? It's very, very important that we listen to this very, very carefully. Under the British Nationality Act, from Session 3 going, it gives us so many different ways in which a child could be registered as a British citizen or where a child is already a British citizen. So in some cases, someone may be British without even knowing. But today, we are only looking at the aspect of a child who can be registered as a British citizen. So who can be registered as a British citizen? I'm just going to give a brief summary of what it is and what can be done. Right. Now, let's look at this. Let's look at this. Okay, let's look at this. The rule is that if you have indefinite leave to remain or you are already a British citizen and you have a child either being a man or being a woman since 2006 2007 the child is already born british once the child is born and the mother or the father whether they are married or not one of them has got indefinite leave to remain 
or one of them is a holder of a British passport. Once a child is born onto such couple, the child, by definition, by operation of the law, is born British. So in that case, all that you have to do is to get a British passport forms and simply just apply for a passport for the child. Finito. No questions? That is it. However, if a child is born, both mother and father do not have a British passport or indefinite leave to remain and the child is born in the UK, the child potentially could get the same status as the mother or the father. So what it means is that any child born after 1st of January 1983, whatever status that their parents have is the same status that the child also have. So if lawyer Darkon, I am illegal, I'm living in the UK, my partner or my wife is illegal, and we have a child after 1983, the child too is born illegal for the purposes of immigration and nationality law. Simple as that. The child is also illegal. So that is how it is. So do not think that the fact that the child has been born here, the child is, you know, some way, somehow a British citizen or entitled to British citizenship. Unless, of course, the child remains in the UK continuously for 10 years from the time of birth up to the age of 10 and in that sense the child will be able to apply for um, British citizenship now this raises the question as to what if the child is born in the UK but the child is being taken out of the jurisdiction of the United Kingdom and when the child was born the mother and the father did not have any status in that case what will be the situation in the future can the child apply for british citizenship there's a question mark in the future can the child apply for british citizenship there is a question mark and lawyer darkman i say to you is this as long as the child is born in the uk regardless of where the child will be in the future as long as the mother or the father is able to obtain his or her indefinite before the child turns 18 justice and law solicitors i say this to you come to us and we'll be able to get British citizenship for the child and also get the British passport for the child regardless of where the child is living in the world. How do you do this? That's for me to know, for you to come and pay for the service and for me to do it and get it for you. Because the job that we do is a service provision and we cannot just come here and give everything for free. We'll be out of business. And the fact is that you go to work, you make money. I go to work, I got to make money. Because we all have bills to pay. Because many a times people criticize us. Why did you not give information for free? The same job that you do that you don't do for free, we also have to charge for our services. That is how things work. That is how the world works. Nobody do nothing for free. Everything that we do, we have our motives of doing it. And sometimes it may be right motives, sometimes it may be wrong motives. By justice and law, we try to do the best that we can in the right motive and charge we will charge. We have few people who are complaining that we charge. Of course, it's a business, it's not a charity. So we don't have any, um, if you like, um, any regret for charging for our services. Because it's a work that we do. And I believe you know, anyone with conscience and right-thinking people will accept that as a business, you have to charge. 
So that's what I'm saying. That is it. So charge we will because we are providing a service. And we always make sure that service that we provide, people are happy with it. You know, and our charges are even ridiculous, cheap, as compared to our competitors. So charge we will, but we will also make sure that we will help you to achieve your objectives. So when you are paying, yes, you feel the pain, but you will achieve the objective. Because if you don't pay and you want it free, I don't know where you're going to get that from. There's nothing called free lunch. So pay gracefully and you get the results gracefully. So that's what I can say in that respect. So it's important that we distinguish the two. And also, if you are a British passport holder and you did not obtain your citizenship through the descendants' roots, it's important that we listen to this very carefully. If you obtain your citizenship not through descendant roots, but through naturalization roots, and you give birth outside the United Kingdom, the child is automatically British, in which you could apply for British citizenship for the child. But it would depend on the time that the child was born. Before 2007, if you were not married to the child's mother, the child is not British. That's why the fact that you were holding a British passport at the time. And in that case, you may have to apply for naturalization. That is a different form of naturalization. Whilst the child is outside the UK, via dark, we can get British passport for the child to enter the United Kingdom. How you go about it, come and pay us and we will do it for you. These are information that we will not give out for free. Because they are technical. I will come here and say it, you try it, you fail, you will put the blame on me. Def the defamation. Defamation. Oh, this lawyer was talking about this. I followed him and I got it wrong. It's his fault. We will not do that. When it's technical, you come in, you pay us sweet money, and we do sweet job for you. Some people cannot get their head around that, that you have to pay a lawyer to do a job. The lawyer went to law school, you also have to pay. You know, so it makes the world go round. You go to work, you also get paid. And therefore, we all have to be able to spend so that the money can go round and everyone can also benefit from the system. So, you give birth outside the UK and, of course, um, once you give birth outside the UK, before 2007, you are married to the mother, then in that sense, that is fine. If you are not married to the mother, then you may have to do another form of uh, registration, which is outside registration, and then you apply for a British passport. However, after 2007, if you hold off a British passport and you have a child outside the United Kingdom, there are provisions out there, mechanisms out there that we can also try and get British passport for a child for you. So there are so many ways in which a child can be registered as a British citizen. In some cases, the child may be British citizen. In some cases, they have to go through the route of naturalization. All that I will say in that respect is as follows. Naturalization is a very, very complex area of law. Many of times, when people are coming to see us, sometimes you get certain people who think they know it all. Those people are what we call them MBA graduates. And it is not acquired through university, but it is acquired through to know. MBA means He's going to tell you, I'm living here, I know the system, I know what I'm doing, I apply for my children, myself, and blah, 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 blah. Those people, if you listen to them, you're going to get it wrong. Many a times people come to us after everything has gone wrong. And then they would then come to us and expect us to do it for free because they've gone and spent their money somewhere. But your dark one, I will not do that. If you damage it and you come to me, I'm going to charge you. And I will charge you the right rate. Regardless of what you say about me. 
I'm not going to do it for free to please you and for me to go home and cry. I wouldn't do that. I also have to protect my interest. So there are people out there, sometimes they are just too clever for their own self and for their own good. They will look for a cheap way to doing things. And put in for say, Aquentia, Eye Musu. So they go and mess up, and when they come to you to the one free, Abba, we can't do that. We will charge and charge. We will. We can sell any piska. We piska in your bonnet. It's good. Send me piska. Man, come and go pay for. There be. And you know those people talking like that. Stop it. Because here the way I be confronting those people saying those nasty stuff. You know it's not good. So all that I say is this: We need to, when you are doing something, do it the right way from the first place, and you have your peace of mind. Don't go and damage it and come. Because if we damage it, the damage has to be repaired before a case can be built. So if it's going to cost you one pound, we will use one hour time to repair the damage for that one pound. And if I'm going to build your case, what do you expect me to do? We charge hourly rate. And therefore, the damage that you have done, you have to repair the damage and then build a case. So instead of one pound, it's going to cost you maybe two pound. That is how it is. So sometimes people need to understand how lawyers charge. So it's very, very important that from day one, you go to the right people, right places. Even if you are not coming to me, for me, I don't mind. Make sure that you go to someone who can help you. You know, you don't go to these pocket lawyers, stomach lawyers. They've never been to law school, but they think they know everything. And they'll go and mess you up. And then when you come to the real lawyer, you want it for free. You are happy to pay to someone who, who is not qualified. But when you come to a registered lawyer, you want it for free. I don't understand the logic. So please, you know, we all have to do our best. We all have to help ourselves and do the right thing for ourselves. For me, there's nothing wrong in protecting your interest. After all, human nature, the selfishness in us is paramount and it's nature. God put us in us. You know, so that's how it is. So all that I say to you is that, you know, um, it's very, very important that, you know, um, before you make the move, you know, you do the right thing. I will say this to you just recently. Um, someone that, you know, I've been helping, you know, bringing me clients for naturalization. Every application that he brought to me, they were difficult applications. But yet, we were able to find ways, you know, to do the application. And they were all successful. When he came to him, this is the biggest sentence I don't understand. When he came to him, he decided to do it himself. And the application got refused. Even his one was the one that was even the easiest of all of them. But he decided to do it himself. What happened? The application got refused. And all of a sudden, he had to build up the courage and come to me. To be honest, I was surprised. And I said to him, to be honest, if I was you, I don't think I'll be able to come. He said something that I will never forget. Was a lawyer. As more catch them, no, no. Or say, as was she, was she, she, and you will, you hold and behold, like a prodigal father, prodigal son. I look at the case and I said, you know what? Why did you not come from the first place? As more kind of say, oh, lawyer, hmm, me name the how me, oh, I'm so boy, we didn't how, and you prepare how because you didn't want to pay. I was trying to save the money. Now, look at the way I find, look at the situation that I find myself in. He's paid over a thousand pounds. It's gone. The application has been refused. He had to come back to me. Now the damage is done. I had to repair that damage and build a case for him. Not only that, he also have to pay for reconsideration fee of 372 pounds. So in the end, we had, I had to sit down with him and go through the reasons for the refusal. Because I've been doing this case for so long, so I know his immigration history from 2011 up to present. 
So I look at the Home Office reasons for the refusal, and the application was refused on the basis of character. And by looking at his immigration history, by looking at the character guidelines, and also by looking at the exemptions, I was able to pinpoint where the Home Office have gone wrong and certain factors that they ought to have coincided. And what helped him was that I knew the exemptions. And I have used so, the exemptions for so many people and they have succeeded. So on that basis, I put in the application and hold and behold, reconsideration applications, it takes time. But hold and behold, within two months, Home Office came back to say that, yes, Mr. Darko, we have accepted that we did not consider the case fully under the exemptions. And on that basis, the application has been approved. The original decision has been rescinded. Now, the fee that the person had to pay to me that he was dodging, I had to charge him more than what I would have charged him. And I don't regret it. I'm happy that I charged that amount because he has done what? He has done damage to the case. I had to repair the case and fight the case. And it took me about five hours to do that representation. If he had come to me from the first place, it could have taken me only an hour to do the representation because I would have seen the weaknesses and I would have just addressed them. But he went there, he messed up, he came to me. You cannot expect me to spend five hours and charge maybe 20 pounds and spend one hour and charge 20 pounds. It does not work that way. So it's for that reason that sometimes you go to a lawyer, the lawyer, you in your head, you might think the lawyer is charging too much. It depends on the damage. So, for example, someone will come to me. The person has got clean immigration record. The person came with a visa. The person has never overstayed. The person is applying for extension of stay. Maybe you have come in, you've been living in the UK illegally for about five years. You've been arrested before. You were asked to come and report. You have absconded. And you are also coming to do an application for leave to remain. If you listen, they are all both applications for leave to remain. However, if you look at the history of the two individuals, they are not the same. And therefore, you cannot expect the lawyer to charge the same amount. So that is the reason why every case is different. You can have cases which are similar, but you can never have a case which are the same. Because the very day that you bought the plane to come to the UK may not be the same day that I bought the plane to come to the UK. Until I'm paying for a quarter, any cocoon, or me now that a friend is saying, um, um, foot to where if you are in the crowd, um, or quarter, any foot to cocoon, I can't remember the name of the um, of the animal, you know, they, they, they you know, they all lay in the sand, but they don't laugh at the same time. So, until you know, a very, very important, I say, you there is no way that you must compare your case. To the same person that is the same case you must not do that so for me it's a lesson these cases come before me all the time i do remember um similar issue one um cameroonian lady now a year for two on also so any the same problem the lawyer or what the lawyer could not work out the exemptions they came to me i was able to do it for them and they succeeded the funny thing is, he contacted me this week. Was in a body of a say, Yeah, man, you can't feel no so any boarding into an aqua or no beca or no beca or an idea. And I'm so well, you have a choice that is fine. Name a mukonako send an old bar. Don't think he say, Feed on me by the charger, no say, Feed on me charge. He may go up a bit higher because once application is refused, you spend more time doing researching. To be able to go back and fight a good case you know some people learn some people never learn so sometimes that is life now um that is the naturalization part it's nearly one o'clock i was hoping to finish the program at one o'clock but um let's see um um you know let's take this tune um let me drink a bit of water and then um, when i come back i will do the um the employment um, um update 
um, in relation to the gig economy. Um, today, I was, you know, um, going to do um, application for um, those people, the carers and social um, health care workers, the type of visa that they can make, but it's a lot. So I will rather do that next week. So those who are expecting that today, um, forgive me, next week we will treat that program. So you have a nurse outside the UK, um, you have a family member who is outside the UK, a person is a healthcare worker, healthcare assistant, and they want to come to the UK. Um, there is a provision for them within the law. UK is now recruiting um, foreigners to come in and do this work. I've also managed to get in touch with um, some organizations um, who may be able to you know, um, sponsor um, people to come in and work in the health care sector. So I will bring all that into play and those people who need help, we will help them. Um, for me, it's not about money. If you have your own lawyer and you want the information from me to go to them um, to do it, I will do it at my time, not at your time. That one, I have to make it very clear so that the unnecessary complaint will stop. Sometimes people want things from you and they demand it like as if it's by right. No, it doesn't work like that. So if you need something for free, you have to be exercising patience with us so that we can also do it at our own time. Because if someone is paying my bills and I'm ignoring the person and the person doesn't come to me, who is going to pay my bills? Come in here, we pay for electricity. Even the phone is not free. So that is how it is. You know, I'm speaking very, very blunt. Some people may not like it, but I know what we face every day as lawyers and sometimes the unjustified criticisms that people make. And sometimes you have to come out and fight, you know, to save your reputation and your head. That is the reason why I'm speaking the way I'm speaking, so that people will get a better understanding of what goes on behind closed doors. Because some people like complaining too much, and sometimes it's, you know, ridiculous how people complain, you know. So all that I say is this. If you're looking for something, you have to be patient. You know, it's very, very important that we are patient when we are looking for something. Because the Bible says good things come to those who wait. Romans, the book of Romans will tell us that. You know, Romans 8, 28. So let's do the best that we can. And be patient um, when we are perceiving something. Um, so that's what I would say. But um, we're going to go to the employment. Let's take this tune. Um, and, you know, um, yeah. Let me just play this tune. Um, hopefully, just to give me a bit of time um, to prepare for the, um, what do you call it? the um the employment um part of the program and then we can then activate the telephone lines um for people to call in if you have any question um this is when you should call in and ask the question because many at times after the show that is where people will keep ringing and then they will complain that oh when i ring he didn't pick it's one of the languages that we use which can be very 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 frustrating especially when people sort of um, um, make those allegations that, oh, when you call him, he doesn't pick. There is a difference, calling someone and he's not picking, and calling someone and to say that he was unable to pick. Because you simply do not know why the person was unable to pick. And in fact, I have had two friends who came to me and they ended up fighting right in front of me because of misunderstanding about telephone calls. So today, I will also take this opportunity and talk a little bit about telephone manners and listening and speaking skills. It will help us all. I don't know it all, but from my observation and from a little bit of investigation that I have done, uh, I think when I talk about this, a lot of people will agree with me and then a lot of people also learn a very valuable lesson from what I'll be saying. Um, in the last segment of the program. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Last week, we talked about say Obi Kasa was a come and cry. Aha, and uh -huh. we say, you can't want to 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 say, you can't want Now, I'm glad. I said, the, you know, the, the feedback was very positive. You know, Mr. Fusu, you came in, you said, David, I was so glad that you mentioned that. It's something that is always going through my mind as well. You know, so when you mention it, I say, you are, you are spot on. So we all do the best that we can and learn because that's the only way that we can improve as society. We can improve as people. Let's take this tune and when we come back, we continue on the program.
Look at this. Um, I, I believe that you know anyone that has listened to the news this week will be aware that there was a landmark case um, this Friday where the Supreme Court um, ruled in favor of 35 Uber drivers um, who brought the case to the court in 2016. So this case has been going on for over four years now basically these drivers argued that they were workers but not self-employed individuals someone is watching me someone is thinking what is the difference you know why does it matter whether someone is self-employed or whether someone is a worker or whether someone is an employee you see we have three types of relationship between the employer and the employed. So you have a situation where you will have um, the self-employed, the casual workers, and you also have an employee. And possibly, you know, you have other sort of relationships between an employee and employer. But basically, the difference and what it is, is that your status will determine what your rights are, your status, either being an employee 
whether being a worker or whether being a self-employed or a service contractor, what rights and benefits that you get will determine or will, will, um, will be determined by any one of these factors. Okay, so as we know, we have something called the Employment Rights Act that gives a lot of rights to employees. So if you are an employee, there are so many basic rights, sick pay and so on, and state maternity pay. There are so many holiday pay, you know, working time regulation, directives, and so on and so forth. You get so many benefits because of the law. It offers you a lot of protection. The right not to be discriminated against, unfair dismissal, constructive dismissal, um, you know, you name it. It gives you so many rights under the Employment Rights Act of 1996. And therefore, that is not what we are talking about today. But we are talking about those in between employee, being an employee, and also being self-employed. So they are in the middle between an employee and the self-employed. So in between is called the workers, if you are a worker. So this is a situation where Uber driver, about 36 of them, took Uber to the court that they are not self-employed individuals because as a self-employed self-employment believe me if someone is self-employed give the person respect because either you sink or you swim as a self-employed that is a fact of life because everything is hanging on your neck i'm a self-employed i know what i'm talking about whether your business will survive whether your business will collapse half of it will depend on you your efforts, the energy, the time that you need to invest in your business in order to sustain it, it is not a joke. You can go to work. If nobody comes, there is no money. How are you going to pay yourself? How are you going to pay your bills? Only you know. If someone is employed, the person just come in, swipe his whatever, you know, his card. Whether the business make money, the business doesn't make money. It is not his business. All that he cares about, I've come to work, the clock is ticking, and I'm taking my hours, and I'm getting paid. So you could see that there is a conflicting interest. Because the employed have to come to work. Whether there is work or no work, he doesn't care. At the end of the month, he's expecting his wages. Because it's a contract. Then you have gone with the person. But, I say, self-employed person you have to get in the business you have to get the job done you have to satisfy your clients in order to be able to make the money in order to be able to pay yourself in order to be able to survive and then you have the in between the workers on one hand they are taking instructions and directions from the employee but at the same time they can also say that i'm not taking i'm not doing this job i'm not doing that job because if you're an employee you don't have the right to reject reasonable instructions but if you are a worker, you have the right to reject reasonable instructions if you don't feel like doing it. So a typical example is the Uber drivers. So for example, if you call them, Hi, um, Mike, I've got a job here for you at number 22. Mike can say that, sorry, I'm not working at the moment. So it gives them the right to reject certain jobs. You know? So the importance of being a worker is that it gives you a bit of flexibility and therefore, because of that flexibility, you have to trade off some of your rights as compared to someone who is employed. And therefore, you cannot have the full benefit of being an employee. So as a worker, these are the signs that make someone a worker. So in this case, um, the Supreme Court held that Uber drivers must be considered as workers. And the reason why it's a landmark case, these people, we call them the gig economy where it is not if you like it is not um 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 like a permanent contract they come in and do it and they go as they please so whenever they feel like working they work whenever they don't want to work they have that flexibility so it's a gig economy where it looks like it's a seasonal for some people you know so no one is forcing you it's like like a you know um, um uber driver can simply say that i'm going to ghana for two months and they will just tell their um, the um, Uber company that I won't be uh, available for um, for um, for a service for the next two months, and they just take off. 
But if you are an employee, you cannot just do that. You know, so these are some of the um, um, the trade-offs that you have to do if you are going for the um, employed route or the employee route. So what the law generally says is this. A person will be considered to be a worker if, one, they have a contract or other arrangements to do, do, you know, to do work or service personally for a reward. It doesn't have to be written. It can be unwritten. So you have a contract either verbally or written to do a work or provide a service for a reward. So I get into the Uber. I'm, I'm paying you for it. And you are driving me from point A to B. That is it. Two, their reward is for the money or a benefit in kind. For example, a promise of a contract or a future work. C. They only have a limited right to send someone else to do their work. Limited right to send someone else to do their work. And four, they have to turn up for work even if they don't want to. They have to turn up for work even if they don't want to. But this one here is just an indication. Because when it comes to Uber, for example, they can turn down their work if they don't want to. But they have to have a very good reason for, for that. So then it goes on to say, their employer has to work for them to um, um, have to work for them as long as the contract or arrangement lasts and they aren't doing the work as part of their own limited company in an arrangement where the employer is actually a customer of the client. So basically, these are the, the if you like, the total signs. This is what the judges will use to work out whether someone is a worker or not. And then employment rights. If you are a worker, you are entitled to certain employment rights, which include getting the national minimum wage, protection against unlawful deduction from wages, the statutory minimum level of paid holiday, the statutory minimum of length of rest break, not to work more than 48 hours on average per week unless you opt out, and also protection against unlawful discrimination, whistleblowing, and also, you must not be treated um, less favorably if you compare to other part-time workers. In some cases, you will also be entitled to statutory sick pay, statutory maternity pay, statutory paternity pay, statutory adoption pay, and shared parental pay. Because of these rights, you know, they have to go through the court and fight it. So if you look at the definition of a worker and the entitlement and the rights, is better than someone who is self-employed. It's for this reason that, you know, the case is significant. Because anyone that falls within this category can, could, may be classified as a worker in the light of this Uber case. So that is all that I will say today. Um, time is far gone. Um, I will then activate the telephone lines. Anyone who wants to call in and ask any question, by 1.30, I'm, I'm intending to bring the program to an end. Um, so that I can then move on to um, certain things that um, I ought to do. Um, yeah, so um, please, you know, if you want to call in, feel free um, and call in. I have just put the number up. Um, if you want to call in, by all means, feel free. That is the number um, that you must call in if you have any question for us. We'll be happy to answer that question for you. Exactly 1.30, we're bringing the program to an end. Um, today, I wasn't going to do the program, but I had to do it because of um, expectation um, and what people were expecting from us. Um, so, by all means, you know, if you want to call in, the lines are now activated. Um, the, the telephone line is 07538-969-589. You can call the line straight away if you have any question for us then by all means um, you can call now exactly exactly 1 30 we're gonna shut the door and my phone will be off so please do not call me after 1 30 because i will not be able to pick and if i don't pick don't complain don't say lawyer no friend of crowd won't fat there be yeah you run business oh fair yeah yeah be fat name moon yeah the time na a year a dreamer our office hours is from 9.30 in the morning to 5.30 in the evening. So, along these times, 
ye be fa fono se o fre na se aye engage am mr op take a note of that and call back again many at times because of the covid in intero most of the time ye jina phone so and ye dey application man cro for because we are trying to limit human contact and ye bane sana aya na ama phone na aye engage kakra na emu o fre na se wan aye mpo a o dey koso fre ana se send a text message I say, oh, me friend me as soon as me person me the lawyer. I can say, I say, this is you know, this is my issue. I want to book an appointment, something like that. Then we know, say you are serious, because okay. I have to be brunt here. Phone calls are yenya, yenya, a lot of phone calls every day. Yenya phone call kran about one hundred and fifty to two hundred phone calls. Now so be afraid. Now so say lawyer, me say no kasa for five minutes. Ah, what they calculate the number of hours ah you best spend the ending for five minutes. Now, almost so much here is come. I say, you know, oh, my Jumano. Time being in Franco, you say, Jumano. And yet, it might be possible. All that we are asking for is understanding. So, with the case of Bray, you will trace it as a young man. That's a year. I don't think so you'll be happy. Because I cannot come and tell you, say, Time I'm a day with Jumano. May the church a new mama will be your phone. So, you will not be pleased. And you know, um, let's all try our best. Help us to help you. What friend as I engage, I send a text message or just leave a message or be far. Tell the person what it is. A you know, problem I hear you. I will telephone call so on you now. A very good suburb is super pepe. Your telephone, the way you see making telephone calls, no, you're careful. Say, oh, friend will be phone and ask her will be officer. A who be here, I said, will be you to do so. I said, who are you? Why are you calling? And you're very, very important. Because semi fellow officer, maybe sir, now semi fellow officer, I'm paying question for you. Maybe now say inquiry. I'm saying make here. Me introduce me. I say, oh hello. Me patch on. You friend me David Darkon. Now me now your number from A B A, Mister Michael Asumesiwo. Now me your problem. Ah, as me fellow lawyer, you bit me abuami. Is it possible to speak to lawyer? Fair enough. Me feel say who can be busy now? And my assurance is say any power or your potential client, and I say on your time waster. Name them, say me friend, not straight away. Or before I phone now, can I speak to lawyer? Hey, abba. And when I say now, we be a quick call now in Kakura no on Kasasa. So, but in your phone calls now, I will tell you say five out of ten. That is the way people approach us. And the abba is now. We start thinking, say, who is this? What is this about? Because the aggression in the pandemic, and I know they. I can understand, I say, a people's situation is so dire, say, they are frustrated. But uh, also important, say, telephone manners is very, very important. Because wherever you call, your approach is very, very important. Whether we like it or not, as human beings, we judge people, whether we will accept it or not. But maybe I will be straight with you. We all judge people. You know, obi dilia, you who ni panano, you form our break our, our mind. Whether I say, hmm, any power you obey arrogant, any power you obey rude, any power you obey say, obey say. Science actually say, within the first six seconds, we form opinion about people. Whether it is right, whether it is wrong, that is the way it is. It's in my nature. But because of society, and they say, yeah, say, any good so be judge you, binti. Human beings, we are hypocrites. We will deny it. I say, yes, I need it here. But media, I will be playing playing with you, sign on it here, because we all do it. You are lying to yourself. Because we form opinion. And the opinion that we form is based on our prejudice. Our prejudice. Because prejudice is, you know, um, the way yes, you are programming your mind, the way we think about certain things. And you know, say obiya sape na our ideas preconceived notions they say it even know near their form or near the judge ni pano e bi so na enye sanity e no tin na e fe bi unconscious bias you can be biased against someone without even thinking it and it's a very very important that we acknowledge these problems within us because we I believe say it's part of human nature and it's part of humanity and it's a very very important that when we are coming across Try to give the best impression as you can. Because personally, so be free, not straight away. Can I speak to lawyer? I start thinking, say, hmm, in the pay, BB chase, you know, BB hang. My telephone man is good. That is what I think. 
I could be wrong, but that's a fact of life. We all judge people. But Obi Fre, no so can say, oh hi, my name is Kate. Um, I'm calling to see whether it will be possible to speak to lawyer Darko. I've got an issue about A, B, C, D, E, and someone has made a recommendation. Believe in me, that is more sophisticated and it's more respectable. And for me, if you're passing messages, mommy, now say can say Obi Fre or say Fanny Kate, na or say A B A. Um, um, Linda Amos, and it did me telephone number man now. Or see me to me, I'm born on ABCD here now. Obi so afraid a message, mommy. Um, Obi afraid he just want to speak to you. This is his name. Who is at the end of my return? There was a proper message, you know. For me, for my own selfish things, I think he said that it's more potential for my business, and therefore my interest will be there than someone who just speak like that. So, it's in a year fact of life, my brothers and sisters. Some may disagree, but we all do it. Unless we accept to say, we can never change. We will be living in denial, but it's a fact. It's in a year fact of life. Your approach is very important because you get judged according to your approach. And I will use this as an example. I know some of you are so if I try bear with me. I had a client who came to me very early in the morning. Me be office and real office or the soon and the airba. I dare or see social services for the so much Geneva. And I'm busy and say Geneva nasi. On narrative story, ni na chere me. We anya lo e ya common sense. Me share ni huan odi be jina me ni muna na imkoi. I'm going to say my morning baby. Before cross up because social services for no one, they are calling you on your phone. Men go straight away. Confie, ne ko jare, ne yem ne kap kakra, ne dress kakra before you go there. Because I'm telling you, umwa wudi jina hey, wudi ko umani reji wom. I'm telling you this. Obi jina wan ko be jaji ne, eselo yani ye rude. But me can e pen paint in pain. Na uti na supem. O confie, e ko jare, e ye make up kakra, e dress kakra, e eko e. Social workers were the who no. Said you see, Jenna was sophisticated, you know. A crack from so on cast on the general. Would run on Mr. Joe Bacco. Oh, I like the shoes that you are wearing. Oh, I like your earrings. So, Eddie Nippa, who pro boom pro, we judge according to what we see. We make assumptions. Sometimes they are wrong. And it's uh, very, very important. I say we come across the right way. You know. Talking about communication, I talk about two friends who were fighting in front of me because Baku promising Adam for me say, Oh, my drive will add up a dark for legal advice. Tabo ni soon, you know, Nana down for no. Why, Yari, I'm an ambulance at Befano at the Neko Hospital. And Tina ne phone, na as well switching off. Tina down for the friend on an onion. When you know, what they are sure that you will say, I don't feel it to do more than because they are sure time will say, time will say, who will be funny, time will answer, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, and I don't feel it for me. So I don't know that you are not doing more. Sometimes I don't feel it for the hospital. And then who told me about Wednesday time, no, next Saturday, and my friend, I don't feel it for me. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, BBC, you know, but before Saturday, I air be near color a dark one. My friend, I arrange appointment in a man. Or see, oh, Matty, and now for never finding in an acumen or the before nation as a last week, you know, Madame for no army final. Now, was saying a cheek and money explanation. I'm not in better now, meaning Tom Tim and my yeddy didn't come. Why, ye be said with us, and I didn't last week, mamma, no castle, or ya rape, I dear Ben, dear Ben, dear Ben. I feel enough in it to a wire bassa. I thought to say, Oh, when I'm a dear shaman, you know, in Pabonini. Me name dear at all. Me a sorry pa. And to any part dear, who friend will be no way in your name. Man, Jenny, I've been born you will tell himself a friend upon Peso Befa. Obi or can say, Dear, personally, and you the right way to talk. Because who friend upon now went to me arm fan. Who was any pulse a debate that went to me arm fan? Well, Musa, but what do you say? What friend I won't fan? Not just say, we are shedding a one for. And you deliberate at. But A, B, and Nipano, who name also the air, I know at the time. 
And I said, Oh, free me. On the Sunday, how I'll be born. Now, on one one who are better than the boy. And tonight, just a winning, I know, a yasem sebe. Yin, I use you be in free. So, oh, fair, what done for me? Now, went to me, I'm fine. Me am fine yet a buffo, say, my fair, I won't fast. I can't say, I'm fine. Yin, free, yer, yer, Me personally, so be from no, I can't say, me buffo. And I'm saying, no, me, I won't go free. Me change you. I said, no. Men can say, oh, fair, me, I'm fine. Would my decree, I'm fine. Kasa who frame me meant me anfa. No busam say I didn't tell me to me anfa. No over explanation. Rather than say, we can say what frame we are anfa. Who made the question? Nipa anfa. Who did nipa ne how? Who did nipa ne problem? Who free say we will call no? A ye more important than a beer than any nipa ne. A beer than nipa ne life at the time was at risk. And see, Anna, a ye very very important. Say the way we communicate. Sa, my friend, I won't fight. You need free language because any language, Papa. Because who can say na? A dipana old friend ono. Emma ono susu a booty me fu. And see one share now could get two clash of a buffua at the destruction and a edi eba. And tis our casano. Me mum dear man genuino. Mim penny and genuine americano because we didn't pay for the casawa. Nink as I mean cry genuine. Mim penny and genuine americano. Sebe ya. Ye nyin free ye language in. Rada no. Ye ka se, oh, kwa me. Me fro, wem se wen ti mi anfa. Me fro be four o'clock. Me bibi a yo ke di. Ne ni pa ni usu wun se wo jine ne hon. Rada dan se wun kwa wo jine hon. Selfish means. Ma fro wa wun fa. Ade. Sa ka se no. E nye. Ne mum. Se wo fre ni pa ni mpo na wen ti mi anfa. Na fre no ti mi fa. Busa ni mpo wte ne hon te se. E nene che se wo su su wo jine ni pa ni hon. Rada dan se. Because we are free to now, we are free. Yes, I know. In your face, until the mechanic says, "You don't want it." Now, the bit me I can't know. I feel you have telephone calls. No, I want for every now. Let me say now. I also be at this point and say now. Bit me on some phone calls. No, until we are free, bit me on phone. Now, me pama chow. Mo bit me afraid. Cecilia, na afraid. No, you did you did no idea. Ashisha so. Until I'm interested, bit me afraid. Ebi mo baka. Na afraid. No, you go you did no so. Sana eti. I think I had a massive P, Mamma de Mofidi and Toa, Mamma de Comments Ebbing, and I said, I must because Obinima Obiche, Sana, if you are sent here. Hello, hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. You are live on Facebook. Yeah, Linda, okay, yeah. Bibia Bocordi. Oh, yeah, that's my power. I'm a um, last two weeks, me too. Me mana yina na me yena nka kranga kra. No ya na one ni ye program wa kra no pa show me nya ne number na wa bo me o cost the order no ho. Ye wa dry same. Oh, okay, okay. What I would do ni say me text amount. Ye wi approve ya why. Any any big deal, won't be me abo. And this is me how ka kra. Is it no easy? As one she dey so, ya so ni she no. And you easy. Yeah, Anna, uh, she say you see telephone on that. They hear most of the applications. Now, we be just now. So now we send the back credit to bear for. And we just so we send the back man. Now we just phone so. But she so dey nya. Eh, what we do bear dey? No finesse. Anna, in terms of you know education wise, new be Anna. Save you, save you. Now opportunity no. And she a juma no do be a eh ding. But we must so be send the back. The back ding the same. Oh, and my man friend, my man, we must say no. I found your phone. So now don't send them with you. I said, "Oh, God, dear me!" It will pass with you, him. Why should you have been so But Mister Sam did it say because Ghana, you walk around, you would hear the man. Oh, go school, you would hear the man. Yeah. And to know someone verify. Now say school, you did different from the friend. Now let's talk about problem, Baba. Oh. And to know I know again to what say. Who say what? Tia, now I say, I show proof. I say, are you ridiculous? I ban it, sir. But who can to what say? So now we tell you, yeah. You can understand them to some point. Yeah, and you know, yeah, um, yeah. we do it what we have. Now, you don't get the money now, Massey, for your support. Yeah, Sanity, sanity, you don't want to for your patience. Why? And you have a sacrifice. You be a metric. I'm sure. Thank you. Bye -bye. Hello, so with me, friend. It's a line with them, and them say, you know, um, um, heaven gate, you know. And you know, also between a friend, one more friend, I into me and for Fracy Sia. 
na yen fao me hu se obi e free free italy wo de mame e respect me free ni pane baka um nani ambre wa fresh at me be free bia na age engage enti o so beti me afre um ye guso am wa be be bia so no ye be fao straight away na yetini e delay wo um your telephone calls um for you and see more more friend on with me after you go so air camera call number is 07538 969589 this is so we are doing with me after and you go so air camera call time to cry a yes but um i'm for freshman to the end training to keep some of the phone calls now it's me any day and call you and you know number now once again is 07538 969 589 also, obetini. Okay, I'm saying the panel still or try to over free. Um, obi a free free Italy. Aha, you're free the panel now. What French? Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon to you. Nampa chodi ni say na kase free. Nampa chodi ni. Oh, sorry, akuto. Oh, sorry, akuto. Bafu wanka ho. Eh. Anaso bafu wanka ho. Eh, that's not my power. No problem. I waited a junior sister. I said, say, But normally, no, say, Omo refuse because of the COVID, you know, nine say, you know, send the refusal letter by email. And it's a when you email there, as you refuse to there, that means it's looking good. Yes, apart from more sending me email, there is an I read, you know. So almost I'm sending you a few if I can I can't create two friends. Uh, uh, friends, two emails it, exactly. So, normally, oh. when they refuse you because of COVID, no, first, no more, yes, sir, because of oh. COVID, you know, these days, you know, some of the case workers will send an email to confirm the application has been refused. Another email will come to say, say, your passport is ready for collection. Among us, visa is ready. I can say, your passport is ready for collection. And to qua, okay, Jana, be with you, it came now. If you also saw, almost sending refusal letter by email. And in the end, as a born home modern, and then you have no team, you can't go to now. We would be a team because someone refuse you have 28 days to appeal. If that is the case, I know it's me to an amount 10 them. See, the amount so so um, a very dependent type of visa. And some of the visas you have one month to leave Ghana and to me, you whatever it is, you know, oh, you know, onion in terms of whatever it is, you know, it's me to one and a more. Why? Ah, okay. But so if normally the type of visa no say ni pan European citizen and what you a six months visa we find a family permit say ni pan a British and also get an indefinite I no no na omoma one month visa but because of covid you know omas oma oma in a three months visa ah you must leave Ghana so na so okay just so so a six month visa, yes. With me but before said the visa will expire. But ah, okay. the mechanic said, oh, make sure say you get a valid tuberculosis certificate and valid COVID nineteen certificate. Why? Okay, 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 okay. And that's it. Hello, you are live on Facebook. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Nam Patro Dini saying. Nam Patro Dini saying. Mami say wa, who are Facebook live? Nadini beti na yamo. Nam Patro, um, mi nya problem kakra ewa me ba school with the em saying ye a migration a asem. Ni na ye, yen kanko. Yes. Na um, almost 
Emma, me, your friend, he said, Oh, Moka, some insane, um, we be him, some frail crane, who can was him about rooms. Mom, so me, fetching from the year to know school and blah blah blah. But so Moka, she may say, Emco, baby, yeah, because not, um, I think that. I think oh, okay. Ain't you know me yeah, you know. Um Miss Oh my god. I don't know. Oh you know the aqua um but me here we say no um me school my me um C L V a buy you know a show say um, your friend is a man, my um, child assault in Tino. I'm not an opinion, I mean, say, can't see how the nature. I'm not my confused because I said, Oh, Muka, I said, Oh, Muka, baby, but I sure we see how we so in Tino. In Tino, me, the missing come in the cell, say, me, but show again, I meet me. I okay, document now, ma was signed, no copy. Okay, and this year I'll be I will suggest to say, Obe send me copies. Why? Me you. Now, you see the corner. Why? Me you. Okay, I'm not Hello. Hello. Good afternoon to you. Afternoon, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not Hey, I'm not going to be so late. We're going to be so late. Okay, we're going to be Okay. Um, young Kwe, young Kwe, you're in. Um, about 11 to 2, dear. Oh, my friend's number. We have a good Facebook. Oh, my friend. And it's on my friend's Facebook. My friend number. Between 11 and and two on Saturdays, and yes, I'll be called live. Most of my many by with Ganny Colo with Ganny Cra or Cocra, Quammy Yante. Yeah, welcome to the EE -E voice. Okay, mail. okay. Um, on a social entity engine, also Yen Shem Omano Mofrina, you try to say your friend could fall back as you can see. It's just to say, no, you're serious, and yes, will be fair. You're friendly, pan it back. So, friend, are you serious? They are. You better try to say before back now. It's me, I be be a idea. I'm on and see Sana at here and see now. Say, open so free. Yeah, yeah, for time to crank on a year 0753 So, obey to me, afraid I'll be seeing number you so now. You're fat now. All question here. So, it's me, I dare answer. I'm on. Um, what's a year can't send for for better friend. I'm on my friend back and as you can see, I'm, I'm trying to call them back. Can't take your call right now. Uh -huh. Give me your message after the tone. And when you're done, and tell you, money to you. We'll be back at your cell lawyer, no friend, no far. No man, I always say, Life show crown, go for friend, no man, I hear from my back. Uh huh, Sana, it's you. Hello. Hello. Hey, two, two, eight, two, nine. But what did you say? I got a friend. If I tell you, friend, it's me. Ben. Ben. Yeah, Ben Osei. Ben Osei. Okay, Mr. Uh, ben. I mean, I mean, I say, about nurses and I workers, you know. So we are outside the UK, more And then, on that, because of time factor, any um, family circumstances being, you know, a mommy, a enough time, and my brain is not really, <laughs> not, not of it today. And next week, you know, uh, many of us here treated that topic because it's a lot that I need to cover. Stage okay. by stage approach. Said the army, you know, will be a better than what I say. Now, who will be there now? Who will say you'll be seeing here now? Because every time I program, we say ever now. You bet me a bar. I be kenny now. When you do office, I know be as afro. No, I say we say the same thing. Now, I can never waste two time. Who can cancel so? Yes, it's boy, man. 
And you know, I am a you didn't dear day, my kind of a boy, and you pet dealing air day, but ten diana a yen to was here, and to be sent next week, and no one am treaty. Me ba stage by stage by stage, and to be a friend here, Mr. Go and play the tape and listen. Now me waste the time, cry. And to the messer, Munyama me next week. That's the only topic that I will treat next week because it's a lot. And to me treat here, you will get a better understanding. See, a better understanding. Safun course no, a social center, a mosque, and you have a boy in it. Why, what is the name of us? So, you know, I see. I'm not sure, Mrs. Tabin. So, eh, why any man man is a babe passport now or can go for no, and so I need to keep that man as a card in the babe passport to me. They won't go for no. I am so a babana home office, say no, as we know, no, who say technically we are in a lockdown. And that means it's a home office on Bibri Edge Mofi. And our old Edge Mofi is so difficult, people don't realize. Because every one minute, Bibi disturbed, we disturbed, no one near her. And the other day, you want to pronounce me in 10 times, it was a pen. And the Yama and Yama is slow down. However, we are getting them every day. And the Yama also is going to be here. Hey, dear Beba. What I was saying is, it did be one month, that's a Maya. Would they give us a call? Neka chile say passport no enya mai na ya chasei amount. The reason they say yempe say card ne ba ya ne acha si chasei. Esa na say we are giving home office unnecessary pressure. So oh, cause if you are a di ne ba ya na no. If you are two weeks a day na ene swa follow without even asking for it. But at the same time, we need pa every few we need pa so. If you are not ready, and you ma time kakra bem na se ma idea. If you say it's reasonable to chase. And you know, Sana, yeah, you know, and you know, um, because, um, almost different departments, maybe we keep your passport, you know, it will hit you. If you're a caseworker, no, I will Northern Ireland, and I say caseworker, no, it will Liverpool. And to make a decision, we are, we're sending message about hit you, say, more storage, you know, my passport, you know, I'm sending my lawyer, you know, if you're a new person, you know, you know, we're taking note, or so, be not done table, so, or so many works are, so, you know, not a queue, and you know, as I name, I need to meet check a crack. A be so see a lucky, or be a honoma, maybe a buyer, I dare change your name so I follow, and no city me see. But the mechanic say, I am to was a Maya, who the Maloy and the time cacra, a de bear mountain and Maya, kind and a kind, friend and a kind, because I refuse any person. So, oh, and two kind, no, so I chase your mom. Send if any refuse, pa, not trigger any panel memory. Now we can hear you, we can hear the same thing. Why? Yo, my name is Yes, sir, that was a Bye bye. Ah, okay, Papa, my friend, in the box was waiting me on fire. Tell me, baby, I know big so. And to say, are you impossible to pick? And to Sana, it's here. And to or the air bar. And I'm a and I'm a Um, our address, anywhere we are based, our office opening hours. I'm going to put it up. Um, if you want to come and see us, by all means. If you want our services, by all means, come and see us. And we will do you justice through the operation of the law. We believe that we can uh, do you justice. And see our address, uh, 35B. Thank you. Can't take your call right okay. now. Okay. Yes, you know. <laughs> but we're so rampant. Every time we're free, we're no big enough. So, yes, sir, friend, back up. Let me say, are you busy? Kakra? And you know, still, um, you know, five minutes, which was me, Freddie, ever for when you know, I'm from Natchez, you know, be a cold baby, be Natchez, until next week, if she be. And you know, sir, open, sir, open, we are here, address, Anna, midday, a bar, better, so no, um, we'll be to me, I'm afraid, your telephone number, um, I am not important, especially, so be so be here, yeah, sir, offer a landline now, I got a boy, a mippy, um, um, a boy, a crampy, so. The entire a boy coin piece and they say landline or it's me taking about 10 calls at the same time. Now, a more bunny, the app, and then for Pimu Bunny friend to go to open the genus where I am a very difficult to get rid of people because a chromo are a yapa who are he just wants someone to talk to a tinipane for now or can't papa more bunny more as all money time as I saw a man for so swagger as a more from here, but if we are say and could be as soon here in your back off a young funnel. Hello, mister. Hello, I'm um, lawyer. Good afternoon. Um, good afternoon to you. Let us say. I'm Patrick. I'm part of room. We're doing a big adams. We're ready. Ah, big adams back up here. What about the landing? 
Big Adam, say any bit my arm. You will touch your video. Now, oh, um, home office and me appeal of court for a child restation. Oh, no, uh huh. But you will not see a court to me, she almost for no, eh, she can be our money. And I say, she has a person with such application, scarcely a semitia. Would be a court over out here and I said, I will be about as a year. Court to me, dear, no more can I say, any cent of food, you are crazy, you free. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh -huh. But me I should say home office because say free party any because okay. administration. So yeah. obi obi yeah. you manesi utia neka people be use yeah. it yeah. And you show ma obi a research be by some time ago. Yeah. Yeah. I say it cost home office in terms of admin any decision making eh, the cost involved. Uh -huh. eh? It's about two hundred and fifty yeah. pounds, and they are charging yeah. you know over thousand pounds into a uh, extortion it in terms of okay. motivation. Okay. Okay. And you know, since you are the home office, we are hoping to on bear the um on best stop no more a chem crania just a month for a year free. So, and you know, Sana, your bomb pie, and I am pie, but your bomb pie is a bit by the sir. I'm not just a good year to be a well person who you've been over trying to come out who prepares who would be a hood, you know, for an affinity. I mean, what I would say, and I said, um. Eja diye ebe nwa anasa asumbo ebe nwa nwa jene ntem. Sa di we 2000 um e starti enye ne ye na about from 2018 or 1918 bro baby. Ana gidi 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 se si e kura ano e possible say they may appeal to the Supreme Court. Yeah. And this may take another two years. Wow. Na e bi a wenti no na akura no se so te 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 mo sa. So e wa breso so a so ye ni se si a na de kwa. Now, say, say, you home office for any policy input a bar. And you're likely say all those people who have paid within certain reasonable time, especially since a case may start here now. Be assured, say, on the mechanism, beba, I said they can request for a refund. Oh, okay. It'd be to say, who's the employment? There was a time when we introduced you employment fees. Ah, now, no, 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 on um, the mechanism by and will be a tree of fee, Nibiano, as I could genie me fees back. And my yeah, yeah, clients are on um, the case called court on with Pia and we ran back and we got their money back for them. Oh, and till some mechanism, no, oh, since you cry, yeah, NHS fees on um, with Pia during the COVID time. No? I buy me the mechanism, Abba, ah, Ceciano, you can go and request for your money back if you are working for the NHS and on your back and want some more away for the so. Enti na sana akwa 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 ye. Enti ya ye diye ya mi mbom diye. Mi na mbosa ya situation ni ma. Me tria na ma ye. Na me nyama sumbi ye. E nye ske biya na ye di. Ana bati maba mfo so ne kan ye. Oso biye si kashu di bashu. Sane ti ye. Enti na edu be biya. E wose usu uti ye bi. Obi o ha. O bakura bi tuya lo ya. Fi ya mana nu usu nu obobina. Obi ti mika se. Ade. Minko tuye si kama lo ya ni kwa. Minko tu misi ke ngu. Oh yes. A big yo man oka. So Anna e wanwa. I say a dear wood tria a dear was soon you know. People don't like it. And she says no me personally first. Se who's will be a jug will be so I know your prayer mobile. But me who say obua will deserve. Because obua a dear says ya okay, who's ye too for say many one can be ya me nephew. What you know super mo or beat ye me or because a mean good tria and go to me seek him. It's mean tria. And to bet now, was a name ran up a change. I feel big one, not a bad name I want to teach you so I want to see can because, sir, the Binia would be my correction. Ama, the associate of my own, yeah, 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 so, what you are dying can you trace school visa? And I was a chrome wedding. So, what you are dying cow? What did they move free one to? Oh, yeah, Juma. So, oh, yeah, Juma. Sabi was a bio or bad in it or housing benefits. Every benefit under the sun was a jay. Now, who could your tax one pound? What's in the boarding? Or what's in the tax to do? And for free to the morning. Hey! What can one want to see? Just say, be be a penny free. Everything we want it for free. And to me, the Obi Abba me ni ma wa raise his idea in Jamaica. Fanny one channel. Ma breaking it down. I said, then I will tell you what you are saying. 
minti ahwe adeya ozi o minti wo mu oba ne ne tewo ente oba ne ji benefit oba ne ji universal credit ana se universal credit no me me kwa ku da ko bi sika ne me yi fa ma oba na na wo wa wo oba no me na me be ti tax en fa hwe oba na wo ye adwuma ne ti o tax kakra wo usu e se ye ti o tax dodo na ke ti o tax no aban ko fiscal no wo hin ana en fa ntia sa benefit en ko fo jije je no ba ko ka de fi na no a o se o se sika de aban ni twa en to ntwa bi mu me fa ban krofo che eni pa gbe ni se ni tire se sa de ti e dia ene ke ha ye hwan e de se pepa de bi gugu ba bi a e ti no ne se aka ba be ne ba gbo si a che bi mo gbe ni de o mu tire e ti sometimes no eni pe hia education because obi o ha na gbe na ya pollute no with ridiculousness so na we kwede me ka be twa mu kwa obi ka se mbi Oba ni ebo ni bo, osi o wonte so, na msi masa, anye ke giti ya, ananye makola, anye abeti ti niye maso. Utu yeska ni piya, niye nyade pa ni mao. Osi o, asimbi ya ni papa kanye, ni papa se kwa si anye bo ni bo ahon sre nto so. Ana msi sa diye, se sane, sane tiye dene vya so biya ya kwa si ya o. Niko suko tesko isi na se praisi bo wa, o sre nto so. Ana msi masa o kasa no, ana msi o kasa a kase yi. Ana wa dwene no de ehie mu no eje papa yi firi de si anya ansa because ye mi ya no nkasa sa enti no obi ani entity e dia ma no ento bi o ho enye ne fault because ni nkura bre mu na dwene ni de ehie mu no ye de rubbish na she sabi o sabi o enti no enu na wonim enti so wo so ni abi ko wrong ana so o kan bi bi sa na correct the person don't just take it say ni panisi say enti sa na ti e da bi me personally o ba manim na say wo ka bi bi na enkwe ya me de make a true plain plain because na ye na ye sie bibi ai de every enti sanity e obi ni ma obi chire sanity e ye sie da wasi pi big adam sha ye tell me kan bye bye anyway i me say papa yi me ni abere pass obi wure mu tell me obi free bia no na obi ejina so enti ye hwe si bi nya na na afi ono so so enye de enti me make asa Eti na je yebe kani se communication is very very important. Um, listening skills and hearing skills is also very important. Um, se ubi kasa a very important. So fu bina we nyana ena so be kase ebi ame freo me me nyau ena se me freo went me amfa rather than so je bufu ma freo sa wumfa ma freo sa wumfa there be any enkey eti na sana eti e me se juma na yebe ba nebi e time. Thank you. Okay, Papa, now your friend is here. When Timmy and you die, I'm fat. Once I make a say, my friend now when Timmy I'm fat. Rather than say make a say, my friend now I'm fat. And now now I'm buffo so, but I'm fat I'm buffo so so I'm not die. And you're busy, me the move is here. We are dark now. I'm not watching me again. Now me Adam, now say Ode, now Oki Eche, you be say Eche be next week. Now me Enka will be at home. Now me Enche will be at so. Yes, you have to see COVID-19 is a real, a area in Kumunipa. Um, and the S A Y F you have to see a very, very dangerous virus. Yami Adam, ah, yeah, mami Aba, yeah, fine. Yes, it's pain in the area. Na, um, 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 if you enso aye di asa, sa suna yes, it's the area in Wa. Ana we busa wokra. Yeah, mami Aba, I was say yeah, fine. Na aye di no ika to. Mami, wa belandi akwaba. Yeah, <laughs> Now, one time I will kind of me look at me at a shame now. What keep a intimacy, then only they told the answer. Say, Sabri, a woman, Nippa, who will feel papa, Nippa yare yare at the female papa. It is so being too being kind. Yeah, I won't fall before Musana said. Said they are all kind, so you are obi and I'm young for a friend now. One foul, dear before I form Kushia baby now I are in. Yes, now what she ya and I'm for me, you know, I want more fresh air, but I can't take back on. 
e wo mu aba akofra ne ba ne fa ye na dia o ma me ye dia me ti ase dia ma me ye te me ni e biblia afina se o fre na o mfa me ni ma de kwam dia ye no o kasa o kasa o kasa na no si ye pe na akora na kacha santi don't worry my mom is dead i will go sempa so a jine ni so ah me ma me wu ene ni na nsa o so ka e da kro Hey, anyway, hey, no, 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 sister, won't you be part of him say? If you are a demon, Robert Tosso, now I'm a sure goose, not that you are with your fiddle. But I may not own them again to offer combat, no, of a coroner, a coroner. Oh, and Ticassa did the Bia make a massam, Cassa did Cassa black rabbit to me a can I and talk. Mhm, bring me a cassina, I would just some. That's right. That's a yummy that says that's a more boho 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 say, Menkola Jane. A yatamin ya papa, papa, he and Colensia and Captain Pamet, Emma to Jaffe, or my mossum, and I say she has some tea to be a Yisiaka and Yankola Nisiaka, and Penifoni Siaka. And to win our old bed can be as to make my game. May come again, my dear Miss Mayimi. That's right. And then you drink and then Yankola Jane, and your wife drink and Sankofa right on Fire Life Radio on Facebook on YouTube and a tune in baby abinya Fire Life Radio at ye about three o'clock pepper pa yenfa enko tuan mo na yin tim penin sem because ye juma ye ye sebio sebio me ye loyal ma koto baby. Nasa mi bome ni na wanti ya meja wako. Miti ya nasa na wanti ya meja wako. Because ya ne wama kura ni se. Wabu weni ya chile uni ya na. O sintu pachi si se ya na. Mi inspele ni auto ma. Me ija wako. Eti na ese utia utie empeninsem. Ne utie amamresem. Ne utie empeninsem. Ene kasakuma. Se de ya. Eni ya bebu. Se de ya ye buye ni chile wa. Ube humbu de ye pa chile. Sana etie. Eti ya na nomi ya sa pepe pepe pepe. For a video ni to fire life radio. Ube nya mame, ene akura jomo, amde empeni sema be buo, amambre sem e bremo, because se wo enti esa imen bina wo enshinya, enya dia ebe buwa wo. Loya da akon, obi fre mbusa ame se, ah loya, me shua wo enti ne kura seda, betu ni empeni sem pa, obi ni ma, obi chre, eti shinya, adi shinya si de yen shinya nye, adi shinya eti se numbers, it never ends. Entu do ni mkura na, fo efi di ene tuwa, 3 o'clock, ne shinye bika hon, sana ewi asema eti ye, the more who see ano, not the more nana who go with him. Enti yen see an, tete we be chere. Enti no, so about three now me say pay pay. You need better for life radio. Na ye tete di, but they pray any every day. Ya damasi fi. Ya damasi fi. Ya misha. Ya damasi. Bye bye. Bye. I me say 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 the time no. I be about two o'clock pay pay pay. Now me say be you one one thirty, but money tree. I'm calling sir. Ya tina for three hours a day. Ya do jima di ano. I be back the way. Yame enka ubi ya hon, na yame enke yi na yesu yi. Next week, yebesai eshe biye, yi tunifa fun kosi yi biye. Timo ma bye.